And all I hear is, yo, where you from? They upped on this nigga like, yo, you dead ass, my nigga? Yo, get the fuck out of here before I slap the shit out you. And if your pussy niggas want it, we gon' send a threat You get in front of for that pack, my nigga, you in debt We been taking hella drugs, nigga, we ain't stressed Selling lean, selling pills, call me CVS We don't talk a lot, we just pop shit Running through these bitches like CrossFit Told that little nigga to be cautious Got the trap house, jumping like a mosh pit What's good, Bando gang? Hold on. That shit was weak as hell. Hey, man, it's easy to go back in this bitch. And today, I got y'all with a story time. This story is about how I got caught in the wrong hood at the wrong time, and we got pressed, basically. All right, so this is how it happened. It was me, my man Z, and my man D. These ain't their real names, but we gonna use that for today. All right, so he's on the bus coming from school. It was sophomore year. I was like 15. We was on the bus coming from school. I'm like, yo, bro, it's a nice ass day. Let's take some flex. Niggas got their gear on, niggas looking fly. I'm about to get off at my man Z's bus stop. So like, yo, let's get off right here and just take flicks along the way. Little did we know we in the hood. You know how it be in the hood. You don't even know where you at sometimes, niggas. So we get off the bus. And we walking up, and then we get to this part. This is where the story turns left. We on some random street. And the way the playground is, once you walk in, like there's no other exit. So like, you're stuck. I'm climbing on top of the fucking structure and shit. And I'm getting ready to take this flick. My man Z and D is still down on the ground type shit. They're about to take some flicks of me, cause I'm on top of the shit. All of a sudden, all we see is two niggas come up. A nigga on a bike, and a nigga walking, coming in that bitch. So like, who the fuck is these niggas, bro? We're not thinking nothing. I'm way up on the structure, so I'm just looking down at everything. And all I hear is, yo, where you from? If you in the hood, and you're not a hood nigga, and a nigga ask you where you from, you say nowhere. You say nowhere. I'm telling you, bro, every time, say nowhere. Anything else you say will get you fucking whacked. I'm telling you. They asked my man D first. He said, I'm staying at my man Z's house. I'm from the suburb. And they asked this nigga Z. And this nigga gonna fucking say, I can't actually tell y'all niggas where this nigga's from because you ain't knowing that shit, bitch. He says, yo, I'm from <laughs> nigga. Mind you, this nigga's a short nigga. He's just looking up at these two niggas. These niggas look like 19, 20. As soon as this nigga says that shit, bro, they get on this nigga's ass. These two niggas got on that shit right away. They upped on this nigga like, yo, you dead ass, my nigga? Yo, get the fuck out of here before I slap the shit out you. That's exactly how it happened. When I tell you I was low-key shook, but I was laughing my fucking ass off, I, I'm not lying to you, bro. Like, I'm not fucking lying to you. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga was just looking at them niggas like a starving puppy, bro, like this. Niggas about to cry and shit. My man Z is literally packing his shit. We're about to leave the park and shit. These niggas is literally walking us out like dogs, bro. I'm in the front. That's my man D behind me, and my man Z behind me. And then it's the two niggas, the one nigga on the bike, and the one nigga walking. I'm walking out, bro. I'm like dying my ass off. I'm crying tears. I'm trying not to laugh. Yeah, that's the biggest laugh I've ever held in on my life. I look back, I see this motherfucker Z about to cry, nigga. I'm like, yo. Once we get off the street, I'm bursting out laughing in this nigga's face. I don't give a fuck. As we're walking out the hood, these niggas is leading us back to the main street. I look back and I see the two niggas behind my man Z. All these niggas say is, walk faster. I whip my head back around and start dying. I'm surprised these niggas ain't here. It's laughing and shit because I could have not light. And I know this nigga had something on him because he had his shit like, you know how niggas be having their hand in their hand in their fucking shit like this nigga whole time. As soon as we got off that street, bro, I started bursting out dying. Nigga. I was in tears, my nigga. I started bursting out dying, bro. I was like, yo, what's the word, bro? You trying to take more flicks? This nigga look at me, he's like, <laughs> nigga said, I'm going home, fuck all that. I'm like, bro, anything you do, don't tell your fucking moms. This nigga tells his moms, you know. I'm 100% sure that nigga has not gone back on that street since. If you watching this, bro, that shit was funny as shit. That shit was a great memory. Well, the moral of the story is, be careful of your surroundings, watch where you go, especially when you're in the hood. You never know what could happen. You never know who you could run into. And you never know, cause niggas could be lacking, bro. If you're not on that, just tell these niggas you're not on that. Cause niggas said where he was from, and it turned out to be the rival hood. Look where that got us, nigga. 
look what that could have got us. So at the end of the day, play it safe, be smart. Mind you, bro, my man's lives the street over from that hood that we was in. And that's the rival hood of where we was at. Like, it's literally crazy, bro. You never know, bro. You take one step in the wrong hood, and that could be life. Oh, God, nigga. So stay safe, everybody, and live life and get money. Keezy to God out this bitch. Cuban on foes, I just change the weather. 20,000 for the fucking leather, and I might just go drop on a Gucci sweater. I fuck her and leave like I never met her. Rolly on, but I can't tell the time. 100 bands, but my bitch is a dime.